one thing, married Christian men like Reverend Jimmy Swaggart, Reverend Jim Baker, Reverend Jesse Jackson, Newt Gingrich, uh, Governor Mark Sanford, had all to go home to their wives and get some strange. You know, Jesus was a Jew boy swinging a hammer, and here we got these married Christian men swinging their Peters into the other woman. Now, let's talk about Corita Kent Day. After all, she dropped out of, out of being a nun one time. But every Sunday morning, I used to open the door for my brother's friend, Danny Walter, who was cutting Catholic Mass each and every Sunday. You could look at the clock. It was a lot Wait, of Please stay on the topic. Okay. Well, Your brother's we'll missing Mass is not Catholic that item. Church. Now, money grows on trees, I guess. I mean, this is James Jones on number 58, a real estate retired employer, $176 an hour for 120 days. That comes to $158,960. Well, I brought some gloves so we can go pick this money off the tree. That's not the item. We're not speaking about gloves. No, we're speaking about picking money off the tree. No, we're That's not. We're speaking on. Now, um, rewards not pay. Well, this one goes. Uh, can you please refrain uh, from speaking from the auditorium? Rewards not paid, 25000 Well, they get 50000 in L.A., and those rewards don't get paid. But this one goes back to February 25th, 2007. Don't you folks get it? It hasn't been paid for a reason. They're, it's not going to get paid. And let's just be honest about it, people. I mean, obviously, you guys must be on some LSD because you're seeing rewards paid that I don't see getting paid. And I'm not going to go into snitches get stitches. That's... that's not me. Okay, now, as we talk about other things, money grows on trees, number 42, $800,000. Take it off the trees, folks. Now, uh, number one, um, if we're going to extend on county code 3.100.030A, why not just repeal the limit? I mean, why just do it for one person to extend their term past county code when we just reveal the county code. If that's what you really want, that's your prerogative, but let's keep it consistent. And okay, Timing. I'm 924 Gator, UCLA, I don't. Next speaker, please. Next speaker, please. I agree. I definitely think it's urgent that we get some mental care to the high desert. There's a bunch of crazy motherfuckers out there. Please watch your language. That's your first. Okay. Corey, you know better. Those who are shouting from the auditorium, Sergeant Arms will ask you to remove them if they if they speak out again from the audience.
Uh, Madam Second Officer, please call the remaining uh, speakers on the related rent stabilization items. And due to the number of people who have signed up to speak, one minute will be given to address these items. Thank you, Madam Chair. The following individuals have signed up to speak on items 2D, 3D, 20, 21, 26, 51, 52, 54, 55, 56. Alex Emerkami, Mary L. Savi, Amanda Flores, Betty Avila, I guess Beverly that's what Lisa Hayward, T. I was Danielle talking about. Pitts, Diane Chang, Yvette Garcia, I wonder Henry if I brought that Perez, up to that other lady that Ismael spoke. Festival, How she feel about Jared it? Jared Gonzalez, Jessa Orlock, Jonathan Yeager, Caitlin Quakerbush, Ken Min, Laura Ojoso, Leticia Andrea, Ma Mark Pineda, Maria Gutierrez, Michael Fiona, Melissa Uribe, Mr. Nunez, Natalie Bogdan, Pamela Agustin, Mr. Lee, and Yolanda Villamas. Please come forward and staff will assist you. Okay, and again, let me remind the audience to try to um, not speak uh, in any kind of conversation out in the auditorium. Hello, Kim McGill from the Justice Coalition. The Justice Coalition opposes item 14 unless it is amended for the following reasons. One, the majority of the motion speaks to the history of the juvenile system and to the specific needs of young people. While it does not, at the end, limit educational opportunities to people working with youth, it does argue for the need for probation officers working with young people to have the skills of a social worker. Therefore, our worry is that this motion is an argument against the separation of youth from probation, especially given the study hasn't started yet that this, this board passed only a few months ago. Two, the push we made during the PRIP process for probation officers who retire, are fired, or, or leave the department, um, to become to be replaced by youth development or social workers didn't mean that we were arguing for probation officers to be retrained as social workers. We don't want to downsize union positions in the county. We support living wage, public sector jobs, but we ask, but to ask probation officers to act more like social workers without changing the job description and culture of the department will have little impact. Social workers don't carry badges and OC sprays. Social workers don't Thank recommend you. that youth be violated Thank you, or sent Kim. to prison. Thank you, Kim. Thank Please you. Contract. Next speaker, please. Next speaker, please. Hmm. I'm a guy and guy I'm a Christian. Um, I also really strongly you still have to watch it. Be paying, careful. Why, why should we pay the police officers to get the MSW when we have wonderful um, of youth and I mean, education workers that we can pay for them and to go to and to go to MS, to have an MSW? Um, we should uh, lift our community instead of trying to try to find new roles for the police officers. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Good afternoon, uh, Emilio, Youth Justice Coalition. Um, so this definitely undermines the motion we already passed in August to investigate whether or not young people can be separated from probation supervision. Um, and that process with the consultant has been began yet. Um, we called through the PRIP process when probation officers retire and move on that they should repl be replaced by youth workers or social mm -hmm. workers. It wasn't our intention in any way to suggest that probation Petra. officers should be trained as social workers. Social workers don't carry F badges and pepper spray. Social workers don't send youth to prison. This proposal is counter to the values and That's responsibilities of a social worker by definition. It's contradictory by training, certification, purpose, and ethics of the field of social work. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take your place. My name is Jeremy Brown with the Youth Justice Coalition. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about my story. When I was 16 years old, I was put on probation. Um, and I had a probation officer. At the time I was homeless, I was, I was um, hungry. I was in and out of school because I never had any resources. My mom and my dad wasn't around at the time. It was just me and my brother. 
and probation never offered any resources, and now that I'm hearing that you want to put probation officers to be social workers, to me, probation officers are people of punishment, and social workers are people of care. We don't need no, we don't need more probation officers going into that position because they're, they're already, they are, punishment is already instilled in the way they do. When I was when I was on probation, they were just waiting for me to mess up so that they could penalize me. We don't need no more um, probation officers, and we don't need them to be um, social workers. We need people from the community that cares and can relate to the community, and that's not going to penalize us for the little things that we do. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I come here out of love. I pray that you guys, you know, your ears are open that you can hear and your eyes are open that you can see. Because the Father will be coming back and the judgment will be upon you. More importantly than that, though, um, the fact that you guys think that you can do whatever you want and not have to answer to nobody. Is what, what, I, what item are you speaking the of? Item, oh, yeah, this is about rent because that's the beast. Yeah, you're following the beast. Anytime you're doing anything other than praising God, that means you're going against his will. So with that being said, you know, I got friends from everywhere. White, black, yellow, brown, it doesn't matter to me. At the end of the day, once you do something that you're not supposed to do, you keep doing it over and over and over and over and over, you're gonna to have to answer to somebody. So at, you know, at the end of the day, you think that you're watching me and you're on my ass. No, I'm on your ass. You see what I'm saying? It's a total reversal. This is not a game. Everybody had a warning. Everybody knows what's going on. The, the rapture, you know, that's real. Next speaker, please. Yeah. Thank you, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, it's quite a few items on today's agenda today, but it looks like- My battery is getting low, it's about 15%. Uh, then he's gonna dress like with a dress, you have to wonder about him. Even if she does know him, I dressed him by his first name. And he said, Corey, you know better. We have no input on the, from the Director of Health Services about where the money for the Affordable Care Act, boy, that was a trip during the second, uh, Affordable Care Act like and why it's the not the nano-desk that spreads all over. Something sarcastic to my FBI. There's over 30,000 people if enrolled in L.A. alone, home. and none of it's being spent. Um, the rent stabilization, we've heard from UCLA, and we've heard from we heard the U.S. court, and how about the ACLU and the 30 groups of Youth Justice Coalition members? 30 different groups, there's a lot of youth. Um, are there being jobs afforded to them? Um, I like the Sativa Water, I believe last week it was mentioned that uh, for 10 years, uh, he, the math was wrong, he's actually been in office for 11 and almost 12. It took almost that long a time period of time to replace a water pipe line that's clogged up. Um, that's something to celebrate. Uh, 32 refers to the Vermont Green Line Station. Uh, is that an economic zone? Again, economic zone has been de deprived of any kind of economic ability. And it took 11, 11 and a half years to come along and get the now is the time to make the investment. I'm not sure about that. By the way, do they have a Ukra I know of a Ukrainian architect they could use to help build that, that thing. And the prayer breakfast. Uh, you know, when Martin Luther King gave his speech back in 63 in Washington, and he said, I have been to the mountaintop, he was actually talking about LA. Because in 63, that was when Gilbert Lindsay got elected to the city council. The first black be elected in the city of Los Angeles. It shows how racist and uh, biased and anti sacred whatever you want to say, it took that long. Conversely, it's them being sarcastic. since 1963, what has occurred Real in the low income neighborhoods that are represented by African American councilmen and uh, other councilmen that represent low income neighborhoods, absolutely almost. I would say nothing, but that would be giving credit. It's almost like today is a Blackstone Day in the county of Los Angeles. It's terrible. Uh, next speaker, me. please. Gloria Gonzalez with the Youth Justice Coalition. I want to speak on item 14 and just urge you all to not go through with it and just look at how there's other people that deserve to, well, that are 
working in social work that can lead social work, not necessarily does it have to be the probation officers, and honoring the fact that young people are getting <coughs> transferred out of the probation department, what does it look like to have real um, intervention workers or real people that are not, not that they're not real, but other people that don't come from a law enforcement background really taking up the social work that could potentially be the people that are working with the youth development department or what hopefully is the youth development department that gets um, to work with the young people that will be moved out of probation and not necessarily work with Thank probation you. out of Thank you. Next speaker, please. Like she was saying, for me. <clears throat> to reemphasize, we did just pass a probation oversight like commission with layup and all that. So, uh, like you said, I feel like this is really the community. CIA, part of Hollywood. Acting. 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 Um, the motion also calls for the study of financial costs to pay for PO's education. We want there to be instruction in the motion considered that the probation annual budget has increased by nearly 400 million over the past 10 years to 1 billion annually, despite the fact that crime arrests and detention numbers and are at the lowest rate since 1950s and 60s. And that equal or greater investment should be made in college tuition for youth who have been under probation custody or security. Um, yeah, and that's supported by our just finishing the Interesting how the times change and yet that stuff still doesn't work big time within the communities as if it's to be expected. Good morning, my name is Good morning, my name is Bob Castanosa. I lived in the Boyle Heights community for over twenty two years under rent control. I have certain areas where rent control does not exist, but we need to have more housing programs for unjust tenant evictions. <coughs> as tenants, we continue to experience evictions as landlords argue that they will now use a housing unit. We as tenants don't have a means to verify if this is true. Además, los residentes no tienen derecho a ninguna clase de compensación o relocación. In addition, tenants do not have rights to be very, very careful. That one with the hat. Necesitamos más recursos para dem propaganda. Y reportar a ustedes las dificultades actuales que están viviendo nuestros residentes. He chose, decided to change up the ethnicity. I almost expect, expect the sheriff's next. He's showing the rise. That's why we are asking that we have those type of measures for our members of the community and no one will be victimized. We have much work to do within our communities so that our residents are secure. We hope that you take upon our, our suggestions and support us in our coming. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Alex here with uh, Equipeers at Residential. Alex, I'm Um As one of the largest apartment owners uh, in unincorporated LA County, Equity Residential supports the county's goal to improve the quantity, diversity, and affordability of housing. However, this cannot be achieved through adopting rent control. <coughs> rent control is a counterproductive housing policy as it will not produce any new affordable housing units and address the county's long-term housing concerns. If adopted, your measure will create a stagnant market and increase the cost of housing for everyone else while leading to a physical reduction in, ho in housing stock and deteriorating quality. Uh, that's not how the unintended in the consequences of price controls will not only affect the livelihoods of tens of thousands of individuals who work, supply, and operate communities, 
but will also have a disproportionate impact on the economic, economically disadvantaged. I urge you to reconsider this drastic measure. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Hi, my name is Mark Panetta. I manage own and manage 12 units in the El Camino Village area, District 4. Uh, eight of those units, we have formerly homeless veterans in there with hip vouchers through the County Housing Authority. And uh, a yes vote on uh, you know this extra layer of rent control on top of the state 1482 rent control it will just make things more difficult to um, you know, participate in these programs in the future. It penalizes housing providers, you know, they kept their rents low and freezes that in and it, it, it doesn't allow them to bring their rents up for improvements that are needed on their properties. It'll definitely cancel new housing projects, new rental housing that's desperately needed. Um, so this measure is really not needed because of AB 14 that goes into effect January 1st. And it'll save the county $967,000. So we urge a no vote, please. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Jennifer Jackson. Buenos días. Oh, excuse me. Mi nombre es Eva Garcia. Oh. Who's going? Good morning. My name is Eva Garcia, and I come from Boyle Heights. Vivo bajo de renta, y a pesar de eso, problemas con la dueña, y me ha sido pasado por ella en mi apartamento. Despite living in a rent control area, I continue to experience problems with my landlord. She wants to evict me in order to collect a higher rent amount from a new tenant, and that's unjust. I have looked into other areas in East Los Angeles and realized that this is also an occurring part of the occurring problem. Like San Francisco, so that they can uh, put in sustainable buildings to trend. This is unjust because we have lived in our communities for many years and the current tenant protections are insufficient. Many of us are not aware of our tenant rights. Yo les pido a ustedes que tomen esta responsabilidad de asegurar que todos los inquilinos sepan sus derechos y aseguren aportar. Para el I ask of you to take on this responsibility so that you can afford tenant protections and afford continued tenant protections and also additional resources for us as tenants. This is the just thing to do as we need to understand there's more people who are victimized as for evictions and there's more of us who continue to go through this. Thank you. I'm gonna go, gotta go check on things.